welcome back to my team career mode. We have our first ever my team race within Portugal today. Uh, last time we had Imola for the first time and we finished third thanks to Ricardo losing the will to live at, tur at the first chicane at one point. Uh, but Baltas is off to a flying start this season. He did two wins, signed to the 10th and an 8th, so both sides in the points, which is really good. And then the constructors, we are down on Mercedes, but it's early doors, early days within the season. We have plenty of time to get up there and get into this championship, cha championship fight for real, because every race counts within, a six, within a less, less races, every race counts. Um, so, but we will get into this championship fight, definitely. Um, we do have a couple of upgrades on the way. We do just say two upgrades to go on the on the power unit side. Um, but I'm not really looking to do any, do any power unit upgrades at the moment. Mainly because I'm thinking about the races we have coming up. And specifically, we have Monaco coming up. And we do have an aero upgrade on the way, but we do still have upgrades... To do on the arrow, uh, one up for the front downforce, one for the rear downforce, both ultimate upgrades. And like I said, we have Monaco coming up. So why not try and get those two done and in for Monaco? We kind of do them both at the time, but at the moment, we've done a hand off to do them both. In fact, we've done a hand off to do that top one. Two, we need 2,000, um, about 2,050 points for the first, for the top one, but for the rear one, we have enough for it. Um, but either way, um, we're gonna try and rush this one, see if it'll come in for Portugal. I very much do to it'll succeed, um, because it'll probably fail. There's a high chance it'll fail. Um, and in terms of the money, we can't really do anything because we don't have a hand off to do anything. We need to save up, maybe get some more on the, maybe try to get spec through in the marketing or something like that. And, well, isn't that, ti isn't that timely commentator? And we have a, we have a thing here for the marketing department about the paddock past, paddock past podcast, looking for deep dive into the life of an F1 driver. And as much as I like, you know, the podcast, F1 podcast and that, if we decline it, then science and experience and focus goes up. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to decline it. No matter how much I like it, we're going to decline it just so science's focus will go up. Um, and his focus is 71. He's 100 rated, which I had never even noticed. Um, but, you know, he's doing good. He's doing good. Hopefully he'll only get better as the season goes on. And as the car gets better. And unfortunately, the upgrade, as I kind of expected, it will not, f it did not, f it, it failed. And we've done a hand off to redo it at the time being. We're going to hit to wait until we get more R&D points. Um, unfortunately. Um, so that's, it, that's just the why it goes sometimes in F1. These things happen. Upgrades fail. And speaking of upgrades, we do close right up to Ferrari and McLaren. McLaren overtake Ferrari, Red Bull overtake Mercedes. Um, and Alpha Tauri are continuing their march up the R&D charm. By the way, sorry this video is late. I literally just did this race today because qualifying when I was doing yesterday was a little bit annoying. Um, in, in fact, incredibly annoying. Um, and, well, I'm pr I was doing FP1 and I had Hamilton getting in my way, not getting out of my way when he was on an outlap. I was on a quick lap. And my tire phased into the ground. Um, uh, because I got pissed off. Um, but... Either way, my rage at drivers not getting out of the way aside, this video is up late. Whatever. That it, that happens sometimes. And qualifying. Let's talk about qualifying as we're about to head on in to Saturday here for a qualifying. We have rain on the way, which first of all, we, there's rain on the way for qualifying, but I have no idea when it's going to come because I never got a freaking message in my emails on, on on the workstation about the weather forecast. I never got that email. I know it's coming, but I just done it came when. Um, and we're here in queue. There's rain on the way for the race as well, but like I but as with qualifying, done it came when it's coming or how bad it'll be. But Q1 here. Um, we've set a first lap. Either we're going to go for a second lap here. Um, but there is drivers coming out of the pit lane and Norris is gonna be right in our way here, not getting out of our way. What and now later in the lap, we've Mazepin in our way. He's on his he's just set a lap. He's on a slow lap, so we're not gonna be able to improve here. We're three tenths down already. Um and we're stuck behind him. He's not getting out of the way as he should, so we're gonna abandon that and go again later in the session. And um well, um unfortunately 
I was improving, but um, rather unfortunately, uh, my game crashed again. So I had to redo Q1, and you may notice um, we're down in 22nd at the moment, not set lap. This is our first lap in Q1 in, in this redo of qualifying. My game crashed. I waited until everyone had set a lap. Then and only then, I was going to go for a lap. And I'm over 201 because I am sick and tired of dealing with traffic in Q1. Why have I now con no considered doing this earlier? I done a cane. Uh, but either way, we are improving on this second run. Um, I did do quite a bit of practice in on this track. Because uh, I've, I've not really driven this track too much. Not really too much since I did those um, videos. Pardon me, did that one video on Portima when it came out. Applied for that, I've not really driven this track all that much. Um, but we do go through into Q2, science is through as well. Um, so that's good, you know, that's kind of what we expect. Q1, we expect to be through into Q2, and we're here at the start of Q3. The rain is starting to fall. It's starting to fall here. Um, and the track's only got to get worse. So it's a good thing that we're here on the soft tire that you knew at the beginning of the session. Because this could be the best the track will be for us. If the rain, I don't know Kane, if the rain's gonna let up or if it's gonna continue, I don't know Kane what's gonna happen with the weather. I never got the forecast. Um, so we're just gonna have to kind of play it by the way the track feels. And all I can is the Falker is still within the garage. Maybe a period bit screwed when it comes to setting lap time. There could be a few shock Q2 exits. I don't know Kane. Um, but we continue on, the rain very much falling, but not affecting with too much. The lap will probably definitely be slower as it would be if it was in the full drive. And you can see how weak the track's becoming as we round on to the front straight here to cross line and close off our lap. We go P5, Hamilton's on the mediums. And you can see here Hamilton, um, Perez, Leclerc all on the, med on the medium tires. Ricardo's got his set lap time on the inters. It is now inter time. Baltas is still out there trying to set time. He was on the intermediate tires and he's only in P12. So could he, the championship leader be out in Q2? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But in the end, first of all, I have no idea what happened to the audio for the rest of qualifying here. Sorry. But me and Carlos both through to Q3. Uh, Baltas and Verstappen, who were in the bottom five before, are now in the top ten. Barely. They do go through. Both McLarens are out. Um, as a bit of a surprise there. So both McLarens out, but the both Alpine, Schwartzman and Sonoda also out. So a bit of a shock there for the McLarens to be out. But I suppose they just went out at the wrong time. They didn't go out as early as they should. But we're here in Q3 here. It's still very much raining. Gasly's on the wheat set time on the wheat weather tires. And Jeff wants us to say mute on the wheats. Um, but I was like, no, it's no time for the wheat tires, Jeff. Uh, Perez has also set a time on the wheat tires. Um, we're about to set a time on the intermediates here. Go P4, five tenths down on Leclerc, you can see there in the top right. Um, and I'm going to try for another lap here. Just see if we can improve here on the second lap. We've gone purple in the first sector on this lap. So there is time to be found. There's always time to be fun. And we do find a little bit of time there at turn five. Now, a bit of a twitch on the way into turn six as we make our way through the undulating Portimao circuit here in the south of Port- it, I think it's in the south of Portugal, no? Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not entirely sure where this circuit is. I think it's in the south of Portugal, but I may be wrong. Um, but continue on, purple in sector two, we are go- we've set- we've got quickest of all in the first two sectors. Let's see what we can do in the final sector, which is probably by chance my weakest sector on the track. Turn 14 here is an absolute nightmare. Um, but we managed to find some time in there as we extend the track a little bit on the exit. It's just a warning, no issues elsewhere. We've gained over a second on this run as we now make our way to the finish line. We improve to P2. We're down to P4 now. Um, as we're out at the very end of the session, we're in P5 now, everyone's gonna start improving. We were the last one across the line, so people are gonna improve and we are finding time ourselves here. As we head up a up turn four, I spun a lot there in practice, extending the track again, but I'm not the best at turn four, I'm glad to be perfectly honest. We're up on Leclerc at the moment, you can see on the top right, uh, top left rather, by about just over a tenth of a second. Um, so again, we're finding time here. 
um, on this wheat track, which you normally do find time in the wheat. When, you, when it's wheat conditions, the track can improve where the racing line is, um, which is why I tend to do mirror laps in qualifying when it is wheat conditions, just in case. And towards the end of lap here, we're up about five, six tenths on our best effort. Losing quite a bit of time there through turn 14, but that's just how it is through turn 14, unfortunately for me. I'm not the best at it, but we're gaining time down the hill here. And now up the hill a little bit, we now make our run to the line, and in the end, it is P3 for the Portuguese Grand Prix. Max Verstappen on Paul Hamilton second, the real-life championship contenders are one and two, and the current Ville, the top two in this championship in season three here, are three and four. Um, Leclerc is there in P5 alongside Ocon, and Sainz is uh, just ahead of his countrymen there. Um, Fernando Alonso, our, our current teammate, just ahead of our former teammate. Uh, they're sharing row four with Gasly and Perez. Perez, who only set one lap, he's in the game back out. Strangely enough, he only went out on the, did that lap on the weeks at the start of the session. Didn't go out again. I don't know, maybe he used all his intermediate tires in. Maybe he didn't have any intermediate tires left after like P2 where it was also raining. But people were lining up P3. Rain is on the way for the race, but I do not do not care what, when it's going to come. We're just going to hit to see what happens as we head new to the race. Welcome along then to Portimao, one of the busiest towns in the Algarve and a breathtaking destination that brings tourists from all around the world to the shores of southern Portugal. Today it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship and with a circuit this wide, we could be in for a lot of exciting wheel-to-wheel -wheel action today. 2.9 miles of track at Portimao featuring 15 turns, 9 to the right and 6 to the left. There's a lot going on here, a lot of elevation changes that will affect the driver's braking and acceleration. Keep an eye out for the DRS zone on the final straight. That will be the setup for a lot of today's overtaking chances. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have the owner driver, Bottas, Charles Leclerc and Ocon, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Gasly and Sergio Perez, Norris, Ricardo. Robert Schwartzman and Sonoda, Giovinazzi, Stroll, Nicholas Latifi and George Russell, Eilert, Joe, Mazepin and Mick Schumacher. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. <laughs> Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Cheers, Jeff. That's kind of the aim. So we're here up on the grid. Look, look, looking like the rain is going to be coming later on in the race. Maybe you're into, I don't know, maybe like lap 20 or something like that. I don't know. It's looking at that graphic there. Um, but in terms of strategy, again, we're just going to play it by ear, see what happens with the rain on the way. I'm kind of wishing I'd qualified on the mediums, but this is the way it goes. The five lights are on ahead of us here in Portmouth for the first time in this career mode. We are racing at Portmouth. It's an okay getaway for us. It's a brilliant getaway for Verstappen as he stretches his legs out the front. As into turn one, we get past Hamilton, who is down to third place. Leclerc and Alcon are going wheels with wheels. Alcon's at a brilliant star here. My God, he's having a right old battle with Leclerc there. Sainz is having a battle with, um, uh, that's Bottas over sixth place. Gasly's just in behind them as they make their way down towards turn five. There's a battle going on behind with Sonoda and Schwartzman there. The two McLaren as well going wheel to wheel into turn five. The front wing's flying as one of the Haas cars. It's Nikita Mazepin. He's running to the back of his teammate. He's lost his front wing. 
and because of that, the virtual safety car has been deployed after only about, well, eight corners of racing, shall we say, but Verstappen leads the way then on this first lap for Marcel in second place, Hamilton behind us in third, then Alcon did a brilliant, he had a brilliant qualifying, and he did a brilliant start, um, he did fourth place ahead of Charles Leclerc and the Ferrari in P5, the Bottas got ahead of Sainz, well, stayed ahead of Sainz, rather, who is down to seven as our teammate. Then is Gasly, London, Perez. Still rounding out the top ten. Um, on to lap two here. The virtual safety car is coming to a close here. Um, trying to avoid getting your drive through like we did in Mexico in season one. Uh, that was infamous, but it is in. We are racing once again. Um, we've got actually not too bad of a restart. To be fair, maybe lost a couple tenths under VSC. Um, but whatever. We have Hamilton... Pardon me, directly on our tail here. Caution. And there's yellow flags ahead. Verstappen's going slowly. He's pulling off. Verstappen's having an issue. Verstappen is out of the Grand Prix. And all of a sudden, we've gone from having to defend against Hamilton for P2 to defending against Hamilton for the race lead. Okay, this is now a fight for the lead of this race. One of it. We defend the position well enough, extending the track. Um, but that's just the run I got through turn one, to be honest. Oh my god. This race sometimes, man. This game. Poor, uh, unfortunate for Verstappen, but great for us, I'm going to be honest. Um, as Hamilton's going for it again into turn one. He made this uh, turn five, rather. You may have seen that we went purple in the first sector. Um, but we hold on to the position out of turn five. We're still in P1 at the moment. Onwards to lap four. We're going to have to defend again. He's got DRS. We're deploying ERS. We have to run down the straight. He's going to get past, but we're going to tuck into his slipstream and dive back down the inside. No contact made, uh, but he does lose a tiny bit of ground. A few tenths as we make our way back past him. And Norris has got past Fernando Alonso. Alonso is dropping down a little bit. Now Perez has got past him as well. It seems like Perez up to eighth place. Alonso now down in tenth. But meanwhile, back with our POV. We're still defending against Hamilton, trying to make his life as difficult as possible. We set a new personal best, Lando Norris is flying at the moment. We dive back down the inside as we have the past two laps and we hold on to the position. And might I say, Esteban Ocon is doing a brilliant job, you know. He is keeping up with us all brilliantly. I, I, cause that's a slow, the, the Alpine is a slower car. I would have expected it to maybe lose speed a lot, lose, fall back quite a bit more, but no, he's keeping up with us. Here goes Hamilton. Once again, we're making his life extra difficult. He wants to go to the inside line. We defend it. We extend the tractor on the exit, but again, no fault done. Meanwhile, elsewhere, Ricardo's got past Alonso. And now Schwartzman will get past Alonso in through the first complex corners, but Alonso's still there. He's not going to give this one up in a hurry. But Schwartzman with the, the inside line is passed and up into 11th place. Alonso may want to look in his mirrors now because he's Yuki Tsunoda. Um, right on his tail. Down towards turn 5. Is Sonoda going to look for a move? Yes, he is. He's going to take to the outside line. Is the Japanese driver. Through turn 5. Trying to keep his nose in there. Is he still in there? Yes, he is. The Basel still going. This is a great... This is a right old scrap here. Through Portimao. Can Sonoda get the move done? He's on the inside for eight as they head now up the hill. And now down again as the track undulates up and down. And all the... the side to side like a roller coaster. Um... But through the turn 10 or whatever that is, a lot of shoot of the Sonoda getting the place and getting himself up into 12th place. Um, meanwhile, back for the south, we've still got Hamilton behind us. He's about three or so tenths back from us as we round the final corner. It's a head on now. It's a close off lap six. We're going to defend the inside line, make his life difficult. He's trying to pick up a slipstream. We're weaving around a little bit. He wants to go to the inside again. We defend it. He has to go to the outside. We hold on to the position. We are defending this place with everything we hate. Absolutely everything. Um, but back with a, onwards now as we head on. Lap number nine. Hamilton's got a great run. We set a personal best lap again. Um, he's got paths. We're going to dive back down the inside. There's a bit of contact made between us. Hamilton falls a little bit back. We hold on to the position. Hamilton's fallen quite a ways back. I wonder, has he picked up damage? The way he's fallen back, that is a clear-cut sign of an AI with wing damage. We extend the exit, turn four again. Hamilton now under pressure from Esteban Alcon, who finds his chances of getting P2 in this race. He's already in a podium position. There was a lockup from probably me there with that dust cloud, but there was a little bit of contact with you through the corner. 
Archon couldn't get the move done as we head on now. We're ahead by about four and a half seconds as um, both Hamilton and Archon have gone into the pit lane. So Archon clearly picking up damage from his contact with Hamilton. But Leclerc is up in the second, Bottas in third, Gasly's in fourth and Sainz up in the fifth. Uh, the Perez with two McLarens and Schwartzman and Sonoda. Uh, Alonso is being passed by Giovinazzi now as the people into the pit lane is Gasly and Sainz are coming in here at the end of lap 10 onto lap 11. They're done with their soft compound tires. They don't want them anymore. And they fancy a new set of boots. Um, I don't know if they're going to be one stopping or two stopping in this race. Uh, I think I maybe saw some raid wall tires for Gasly. And it's his raid wall tires for Sainz as well. Like it's held a little bit as Gasly goes past. But other than that, clean and stop. And will they come out ahead or behind? Mick Schumacher is behind the Haas car. Um, but Sainz is kind of going, it's flying right now. As is Gasly, Schumacher under pressure from both of them as they head down the main straight here. It's going to be three wide as Gasly gets past Schumacher. Science gets past Schumacher. Hamilton's there in the background as Science now finds his chances. Again, two and one here. He finds his chances to clear the Frenchman and getting himself up into whatever place they're fighting over here at the time being. Of course, there is a lot of people who still hate to make Mac their pit stops. Hamilton, of course, got that wing damage in early, early in the race. He's on a two stop now. He's on soft tires as well. And he finds his chances getting past Schumacher. As there goes Science. Carlos Science, our teammate, past Gasly. And Hamilton past Schumacher. And up in the 16th place, Sainz, Gasly 15th, Sainz in 14th for the time being. But back with ourselves, we're meant to be pitting in on this lap, but I'm not going to stop yet. There's rain on the way. I'm trying to be clever. Our pace isn't too bad. We're still hovering in the mid-118s. Our pace isn't too bad, so I wonder if we can maybe try to stay out until the wheat weather comes. It's a major strategy risk, but we're talking about the race win here. You gotta take gambles like this sometimes, as there goes Carlos Sainz making another move. He is cutting through this field like a hate knife through butter. And there he is, up new, thin to eighth place in this race. He's got Nicholas Latifi up next, and he fancies getting, not looking at the rear diffuser of a Williams car for too much longer. He is past. Uh, Gasly and Hamilton are going wheel to wheel now down the main straight. Um, as Hamilton trying to defend the position, Gasly trying to get, no, Hamilton trying to get past Gasly, sorry. Gasly trying to defend his position, he's got Danny Rick right in behind. Um, these two wait the pounce if anything gets too hairy. Hamilton holds on to the position as, um, he now fancies his chances at Nick Latifi here. Pardon me. They go three wide as they, but it's like, it's like Gasly, Schumacher and Sainz, but this time it's Gasly, Latifi and Hamilton. There was Snowden just coming out of the pit lane there. Gasly trying every trick in the book at the moment to get past the Mercedes, to get past the um, nine-time world champion as he is in our career mode here. Um, but Gasly's got the DRS, he's trying to push Hamilton, he's trying to squeeze him out and Gasly finally gets the move done up into P7 in turn five. Um, Hamilton down to 8th, Ricardo has got past Latifi as well, he's up into the points. As back with ourselves on to lap 17, the rain is starting to drizzle down, it is starting to rain. And funny story, just before the rain started, I paused the video and tweeted out on Twitter like a gif of like a, someone dancing in the rain, it's like me just wishing for the rain to come in my team. I unpaused the game, do a few more corners, the rain starts, it worked. Perfect, you dancer, you beauty. But the rain is falling down onward, slap 18. Ricardo fancies his chances getting past the uh, Japanese driver of Yuki Tsunoda here. Into turn five, he's going to be going the long wire round. Can he get the move done? Can the Australian get past him? Can the McLaren be um, seeing the Alpha Tower in his rear mirror here? But we know who good at defending Tsunoda is. Both, it seems like in the game, and it seems like real life as well. He seems to be pretty good at defending, but he holds on to position. Like I was saying, he's a really good little, he's a good defender there. As you saw, Mazepin was just spun there, and that's how that happened. That was when, just when those two were starting to fight. He just lost it like I lost, I can't really say much. I did this five million times in practice. Um, Mazepin just lost it. I did that five million times in practice. I can't say anything, but on to lap 19. No, you've got to be kidding me. 
No, but the rain is falling. Not quite as heavy as I would have hoped it would be by now. I was hoping it would maybe be coming down quite a bit, coming a bit mere, a bit quicker than this, but we're still out here on the soft tires. It's not good news, I'm afraid. Seems like an engine issue. Good news, it looks like the fault has been fixed. Well, which is it, Jeff? Which is it? We started the race on these tires. We've done 18 laps on them. We're still out here. And look, you just saw them there. We're stuck in lean mixture. We're stuck in lean mixture. The issue is not fixed, Jeff. We're stuck in lean mixture here. Good God, man. Um, but boss as far as are closing in. We're still out here. We started the tires on this race. Started this race on these tires, by the way. I'm rather. Um, my God. But this fuel issue is not. Oh, it's back! It seems to be fixed, but we will keep monitoring it our end. Oh, well, thank God for that. It's fixed. We're back in standard mixture, lads. But 60. Like, I it's 56 to 66 percent tire rate. It's no great. It's pretty short. The tires are done. I'm gonna be very happy to get rid of these tires. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um, other pace has dropped away from. Well, it's dropped into like the 22s that lap was. Um, but meanwhile. Back behind with the people who have pitted. Ricardo fancies the chances on Sonoda again. He's taking the inside line this all. He was on the inside line last time. He fancies it again to see if he can maybe get the move finished all half this time. Well, no, he was on the outside line. He will be the outside line again as he makes the run down now. The second street DRS straight. Sonoda's got the DRS. But Ricardo's got the quicker car here as they make their way. As with a couple laps to go around turn five, Ricardo on the outside, Sonoda on the inside. The only difference is it's a fair bit weaker on the track new than it was. Um, but they're still going at it. Ricardo inside line. Can he use that to his advantage? We've seen, we've seen some great racing here. They go up the hill. I know they're going to go down again. This track goes up and down so much. But Ricardo, will he get the move finished off here? Yes, he does. Ricardo finally gets his man up into eighth place. About 11 seconds back from Gasly. So he's in a bit of a off the tower sandwich. I nearly said, I nearly said Toro also. But back with our teammate, Sainz has been into the pit lane for a second time here. Um, and he's wanting to get past this stuff. It's a Spanish duel here between Carlos Sainz and Fernando Alonso, our current teammate, as our former teammate. Sainz is through up into 11th place. Is Alonso. About to be passed by Pierre Gasly now as well. Um, um, Hamilton is in behind there. Kind of just waiting to pounce here. And Gasly in the sideline. Can he make the move stick through turn five? Yes, he can. Gasly up in the 12th. Sainz 11th. Alonso down in the 13th with his uh, former McLaren teammate, Lewis Hamilton, right on his tail now. But lap 23. Um, the rain hasn't been getting too much more, so we're, we're gonna have to go in for a new set of tires. It's bad timing. This is, we took a massive strategy gamble. The rain has not been falling too as, as hard, as quickly as I would have wanted it to. Um, so we're, the, but the tires are over 70% worn. That's puncture territory. Um, it is slowly starting to get a bit worse here. The, look at the tires, they were shot. We're onto the mediums here. Um, now, as we now come out of the pit lane, and I'm going to be honest, it's about when I exited the pit lane, I was regretting my strategy decision, uh, because I think if I'd maybe done this one more lap, after this lap, it might be time for interns, because the track has gotten significantly weaker now. Um, so I think it could possibly be really close to time for interns. Um, and at the end of this lap here, we're going to be back into the pit lane. We're going to be back into the pit lane here on this lap um, for the intermediate tyres. And none of the front runners have gone in yet, but Schwartzman and Giovinazzi have gone in with us. Um, it's time for the intermediate tyres now, lads. It's time. Um, the strategy has not worked out for us at all. It was a massive gamble staying out as long as we did. And it's a very slick stop, 1.9 seconds, and Giovinazzi has jammed Schwartzman in the pits. What of it? Um, but it's very much intermediate time here. It's not worked out. It was a massive gamble, and sometimes you have to take those gambles when you're in for a chance at winning the race. And sometimes it just doesn't work out. You know, it's just one of them times where the, where the strategy just has not worked out for us. And the DRS has now been disabled. It's very much intermediate time. Look how weak the track's gotten. Maybe we can maybe gain a couple of positions here when people come into the pit lane, taking Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz is into the pit lane now. Um, as we as we use quite a bit of the carb there. 
Um, making our way around turn 14, trying to get on the power about as early as we can here. Um, to see how many positions we can gain in the pits here. And you may see my ICE is incredibly worn after just three races. Um, but can we gain any positions here? There's Hamilton and Gasly just coming out of the pit lane. There are signs we move up into P7 here. Um, we, well, we've gained a couple places there from our strategy freaking blunder. Uh, to be honest, we've been gone back to where we were before we pitted for entrance, to be fair. Um, and uh, on to lap 6, we're trying to close in on Yuki Tsunoda for P8. P6, rather. Uh, Bottas is up on the lead, by the way. He's on for his third win of the season in the third race. What did this man do in the offseason between Season 2 and Season 3? That is what I want to know here. What has he done? How much porridge does that man eat? Honestly. That's got to be what it is. Got to be. We all know Valtteri Bottas loves porridge. Um, but I'm, I'm getting horribly off topic. We've called in to two seconds behind Sonodi here. Now one and a half seconds, roughly. As it, we would come to the end, towards the end of the lap. Just yet, but uh, we've seen a problem at our end. We're looking into it. Not again. No, twice in one race. And that doesn't sound good. When they say that, it usually is a race-ending failure. Um, but we've closed up towards Sonoda a little bit more, 1.8 behind him as we head on to lap 29. Our ICE is 79% worn, we'll need a new one for the next race. Why that wears out so quickly, I have absolutely no idea whatsoever, lads. I okay, we have a severe engine issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pit. No, god damn it, our turbocharger is just blown! Are you actually kidding me? All of that! My strategy race, which didn't work out, and now kick someone, kick him, like, it's like kick him out when it's doing. We have a mechanical failure, are you? That was a heck of an impact. Let me know you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay, Jeff. I'm okay. Just a bit peeved off. I'm incredibly pissed off, actually. This is, oh my god, this is almost, this is not quite as bad as Monaco last season, but it is rather annoying. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I... We're out. I don't know what to say, lads. I do not know what to say about this. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? It's a heroic effort for any driver to race in conditions like these, and seeing them fight their way to the front was very special indeed. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and have the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. That's what pushed them into first place here today. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. This man's got to be stopped. This man has got to be top three wins in three races. The first three races, he's got a massive lead in the championship. We need to start winning races. The unfortunate thing for us, though, the next race is Spain, which is going to be Spain without the S. Uh, thankfully, he doesn't get the fastest lap. Hamilton got that. Science finishes seventh in the end. Um, so, not too bad, but, oh my god, that DNF, honestly, look at that 47 point lead in the championship, Ricardo and Hamilton overtake us, but, pardon me, we're down to fourth, but only one point behind, the, the fight for the, it's early in the season, we can still win this, um, we're down to fourth in the constructors as well, 65 points doing on Mercedes, again, we can win this, we can do this, there's still a lot, there's still, um, well, 16 minus 3, about 13 races left. Yeah? 16, 15, 14, yeah, 13 races left in this season. But like I said, the next race is Spain. There's every chance that I could go very horribly wrong. Or maybe it'll surprise me. I'm, I put it on the calendar this season to get one more chance um, at proving to be anything but pain without, but be anything without, anything but pain. That's what it's been so far for me on it, on my team in any F1 game. But it's the home race of our teammate here, Carlos Sainz. Um, uh, we will be moving on to that in the next episode. But for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.